Well, we're out here at the inlet around Wrightsville. You can kind of look behind me and trying out the new upgrades I just did to my uh, do-it-yourself beach cart. You can see I've got my tripod strapped on right here with a cord. That's working pretty good. And if I'm using live bait, I've got a piece of uh, cutting board glued on right here. Everything's working great. Let me show you how I made this stuff. Now that it's cold again, I need to do a small update to my beach cart that I use when I hike in to the spots that I can't drive to. You may remember a couple years ago, I did a video where I turned a kid's big wheel into my beach cart. And part of it was to have a toolbox right here, and I attached it using bungees. Well, I've discovered that the bungees get floppy, and they don't really hold the toolbox on. So the quick mod I'm going to make is I'm going to screw the toolbox down to the cart, and then it'll be stable. The only reason I used the bungees last year is that I used the toolbox as my tackle box for multiple different applications. So I've decided to pony up the 10 bucks, buy a dedicated toolbox, and use this only for when I'm hiking in and drawing my beach cart behind me. Well, now that I have the new toolbox on there, or tackle box, the next challenge is I don't want to have to cut bait on the top of this nice clear screen. So the dollar store comes into play again. What I've got is a dollar store cutting board, and I've clamped it right here, and then I will cut it out right along the perimeter of this clear top, and I'll attach it using that some of that 300 level Loctite adhesive. And then, once I have this all fixed, I'll have a nice small cutting area right on top of my tackle box. And there we go. A few quick cuts with my saw. Now I'm ready to glue this on. Yeah, pretty redneck way to weigh that cutting board down. I got my bench grinder and a couple drill batteries on there. So let's take this off and see if it worked. Otherwise, I'll have to run a couple of small bolts through here. Yep, I think that's on there pretty good. Okay, there's one last modification I need to make to this cart. And although I'm going to use it to carry my tripod, you may have some other piece of gear you want to use. I've got a lip here between where the edge of the tool slash tackle box is and the edge of the piece of plywood I put on here. So what I did is I got some of this Velcro strapping, attached it with a bolt, and now I can take my tripod and stick it on here and strap it down to where it's not going to fall off as I walk down the beach to wherever I'm going to fish. I'm really loving this new tackle box. I like the fact that it's got these compartments up here on the top and when I flop, flop it over I can take this container out here. I got to pick up that trash and now I've got a work area right here and I've got my stuff on the inside. I really like the way this new do-it-yourself beach cart is turning out. If you got any suggestions for anything else I can do, hey please throw in the comments because I like making things better. Thanks.